true. Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm Kyle Lose, back at it again with another video. I'm here today with my friend Blake. What's going on, guys? And we are going to be doing a comparison between the Yeezy 750 Boost and the Yeezy 350 V2. Okay. So in this video, we are going to say which one each of us prefers. We're going to talk about the seasons that you can wear each shoe, which more, when it's more appropriate, and what is more appropriate to wear with the shoe. And overall, we're going to talk about the comfort and feel of each shoe, and then which one has the better colorways. All right, so Blake is going to start off first, because he is my guest, so he's going to go first. He's going to talk about his Yeezy 350 Boost Belugas, tell us what he thinks about how they feel, how they look, how much they cost, and et cetera. All right. So I got the Belugas when I was over in Los Angeles, and you know, resale price, you know, I paid a little over resale, but it's suddenly around like 600. 650? I'd say so probably. The blue is only going to increase though because it's the very first uh, colorway of the V2s. Yeah, but like I wear these things all the time. They're super comfy, uh, way more comfortable than the V1s, which I tried on while I was over there. And you know, it's just like a better build too. Like the prime knit's thicker, the fit is better, it's like a little tighter, and there's way more boost, and the boost is way more comfortable. Yeah, one thing I do have to say, I feel like some of the colorways on the V2s are a little bit better just because the V1s are just kind of boring like they're mostly just like one color and I like that's like clean every now and then but the fact that it was the all four colorways you know the turtle dove is literally just gray with some black super like boring and bland I guess the Oxford Tans which is my personal favorite just tanned out like yeah that's nice but it's not something you can wear every single day same with the Moon Rocks yeah. and then obviously the Pirate Blacks are dope they're my just favorite. blacked out Pirate his Black's favorite um, and then I just feel like with the V2s, there's so many different colorways, they put so much more work into it, like he was talking about the, all the upgrades they made. I think they really listened to the people, and like, because a lot of people, there was a lot of problems with the V1s, the other people, like with the paint chipping on the bottom, now they have the translucent Ooh, soles. Yeah. And then like he talked about with the different kind of, uh, the upper, the prime knit on the upper. And then back to what I was saying with colorways, I just feel like they, like a more unique, like the Beluga is definitely super unique in my opinion just like all gray with like a darker gray i'd say and then that yeah. like hyper orange or whatever it's called i don't know exactly it's, what it's I called think they call it solar solar is it solar i thought that was yeah solar solar, solar orange. all right so solar it's supposed to be solar, oh, solar red. red wow yes. okay so the solar red I, I think this is pretty unique and when i first saw i'm not gonna lie in the first couple pictures like the sample pictures they didn't look that yeah. good the pair that kanye wore the shape was still off and yeah. if you guys haven't seen that picture uh, Kanye had wore these a couple weeks, months, I think, before these released, and there was a shape was completely different. It looked more like a mid, I'd say, kind of like what the yeah, 550s like were supposed mid, to come yeah. out and look like. Back to what I was saying about the colorways, though. You have so many different colorways that have come out in the V2s. Like, it's, it's a really dope. Like, some people don't feel the certain colorways, but they're coming out with so many different and new colorways and unique colorways that it's kind of like matched for every, like, there's something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, releasing this Saturday, the 25th, is that zebra pair that's super, super limited. And I've seen a couple different people like Yeezy Mafia was tweeting about how their price would be similar to the Turtle Doves and that you shouldn't sell your zebra pair for less than $900, which I thought was pretty surprising. But then when you think about like the quantity uh, uh, on this pair, it's super, super limited. My store in Atlanta, uh, Adidas, the Adidas store in Atlanta didn't get them. I don't think I'm a Manier got them. I haven't seen anything on Twitter or Instagram. I didn't see anything from Wish. I think it went like, I want like store. three Adidas stores got them. Yeah, it was, it was like something ridiculous. It was like a really like a uh, limited amount of stores in the United States got them. Like their main stores, pretty much like Los Angeles, New York, and Miami. And Miami. I think Chicago got it too because Chicago gets everything. And then like I don't think Foot Locker got them. I don't think I don't think East, East Bay did. didn't get them either. And I, I don't think Finish Line did Foot Actually, I, did, I don't think any. I don't think I don't any. Think any. Did. I think if, it's just Adidas exclusive. If if any of them were to get, if any of the foot sites were to get it, if it, it's probably Foot Locker. They said uh, I saw some today that said like Consortium Store is supposed to get them next month. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, so it's like a pre-release. Oh, okay. I think so. That's what they said. So the Zebra Pair is definitely a unique colorway in my opinion. I don't like it that much. I think the Oreo Pair. I know I was talking about with like simplicity and everything, but just like the black with like the white stripe, I think is really nice. That's probably my like which one I would prefer to get, and it's not the most expensive. The most expensive besides the Beluga is the black and red pair. Yeah. I heard that those were a little bit more limited, and then the colorway, a lot of more people seem to gravitate it. toward it because it kind of reminds people of Solars from his from his Nike collection, just the all black with like that little bit of red and kind of like the blinks. I think or they were pink or whatever, I don't even know. Yeah. But I heard that the red pair, in uh, the red stripe pair, the red is a pinkish red, it's like a brighter red. So. I think it's supposed to be like the same color as this, but it's it's like the same color code, mm -hmm. solar red, but it's not. Yeah. 
This is this is probably my favorite one out of all of them, including the last ones that came out, which are my second favorite now. Mm -hmm. But these are probably my favorite ones just because, you know, it's like the black you can't wear with like everything. Like you know, sometimes it looks kind of weird. But I like feel like gray and then the orange stripe makes it pop even more. Yeah. Like I feel like when you wear like moon rocks. Nobody really notices them, but yeah. if you wear this, everybody's gonna yeah, see, see it just because of the way the orange pops on like the the gray backdrop on it on the shoe. And then what else? The uh, that bread colorway just came out, the just the all blacked out like pirate black, and then it just had like the uh, the supply 350 on the side, aka the Saint Pablo yeah. loves you 350. And then the, and it also came with a pull tab, which I thought looked terrible on the V2s. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I just I didn't like it. I thought it was, it's like kind of like a 1.5, like V1.5. Oh, yeah. Kinda. Like, okay, not yeah. really, like, just like they made upgrades, I mean, but it's like similar. It looked kind of cool. I mean, I think it was supposed to be like pirate black. I mm -hmm. think that was what they were going for. Yeah, right? do with the same colors, but it was it was cool. So all in all, I do like three fifties, both the V ones and the V twos. I really want to get the Oxford tan V ones, and then either the black and white V twos or the black and the red stripe V twos. Those were my favorite two V twos, and so hopefully at some point I'll be able to pick them up and do a review for you guys. That'd be really dope. So is you said the beluga is your favorite pair probably of all of them, or do you think this, this zebra is going to be? I think, be? I think if you well yeah I like these more than zebras, but if you put like all the pairs together, my favorite is still pirate blacks, just the colorway. Mm -hmm. But like if I had to like choose, I would choose these, just because, I feel like it's like more durable. Yeah. And it's like more like comfortable and yeah, it's the more price point is better sure. too, way better. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was the point I was going to make is that the V twos have a way better price point like right now than the v1s do the v1s go for a lot more but the v2s are an upgraded shoe so you're technically getting yeah you're getting a better shoe for cheaper and I, that's kind of like a no-brainer like a one main problem with the 350s which i kind of touched we kind of touched based on before was that paint chipping on the bottom like once you get some wears in the, the the paint on the sole if you're wearing the like any of them i think even like the turtle doves which is just a white sole it's still chipped turtle, yeah turtle doves is the worst probably. yeah like i know the moon rocks they crack really easily like yeah. there's like a lot of cracking along the sole the paint comes off which makes a lot of people go out and they get like those markers mm -hmm. or whatever and then like yeah, there's like the turtle dove and oxford tans and then they color it in and it looks like fine but then the, the boost is like trash yellow yeah and it that's, looks so bad that's another thing the boost on this is kind of like lifted i know you can't really see it but like it's not like flat against the ground like the other ones are it's kind of lifted above so i've worn these a thousand times there's a ton of heel drag but the boost has stayed pretty white throughout the whole time because it doesn't touch the ground really yeah yeah that's another thing about uh like you were just saying with the v2s they definitely did that that was a better way to, to do it i guess with the boost because on the v1s and on the 750s too the boost gets really, really dirty really fast and like rubs off and it just looks like bad, I guess. I mean, I know it's a sole and not many people are going to, nobody's really going to see it. But if you're like kind of like me and I don't know if you're like it, but I like, I like, I like, I really like wearing my shoes. Like I wear all my shoes. Oh yeah. But I don't like when they get like super dirty. Like I always have to clean them. Shout out to Crep Protect, by the way. <laughs> I always use Crep Protect. They're the best in the business for cleaning. Now we're going to move on to the Yeezy 750 Boost. My personal favorite of the Adidas lines between the 7th, the 350s, the 750s, the 950s, and then just the boots, which aren't part of the Adidas line, but whatever. I think these are the best by far, like I, I don't know why, it's something about the whole design, the strap and everything. I just feel like these are super, super dope. They're more of a designer, they have more of a designer feel than the 350s do. And I, that's just something I guess I gravitate a little bit more to. And I know they're a little bit harder to wear, but like like it's not like a big deal. Like they look really good with jeans and I just really, really like them. What yeah, that's like, when you wear those, you have to like think about your outfit, especially that color, because mm -hmm. like brown shoes, with like gum sole, you really have to think about what you're gonna wear with it, cause you can't just wear like, you can't wear like a, shorts. Like a yeah, like <laughs> shorts, like shorts and like Nike socks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shout out the elite. Yeah, but yeah, that's a that's a, definitely if you're gonna wear a 750, the outfit that you gotta wear, it's you gotta be some kind of jeans or some kind of like joggers. That's just in my opinion, which is what most people do do, cause I have seen people wear them with shorts, and I could never pull these off with shorts. I have not seen anybody pull these off with shorts. I'm sure even Kanye wore, I think there's a picture of he, him wearing the OG pair with with the shorts and like, it looks so bad. The, the, the laces are like wrapped around the shoe. It looks, yeah, it, it looks terrible. These look terrible with shorts, but these look really good if you can rock them with a bright pair of jeans. The triple black 750s with a black pair of jeans, I just murdered out, is so sick in my opinion. Like that I think is a really good looking outfit. And then these, like I said in my last video, the one that when my mom reviewed these, 
she said, uh, or I was talking about how I think these are the best quality wise. And I think that the color surprised a lot of people because at first not a lot of people were feeling these because it, like it's a chocolate upper, it's brown. Like how are you gonna pull off a brown shoe? But in, like, in videos and pictures, it looks pretty dark. But in person, it's really not that dark. It's like a grayish brown, I'd say. And it just, I, I just think it looks really nice. It looks really good with a pair of blue jeans. I haven't tried to wear them with black jeans yet, but. They would look pretty sick with black they, jeans. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. So, okay, so, like I said, I prefer the 750s. But one thing that I don't like about the 750s, or one thing that's hard with the 750s, is the fact that you can only wear them, I feel like, during certain seasons, especially like in Georgia, and then I'm moving to Scottsdale, Arizona, so it's always really hot in like the summer. So I won't be able to wear pants unless I want to like sweat a bunch and I don't want to do that. So usually, especially if you live in like colder climates, like if you're in New York or you're in up north somewhere in the Midwest or something like that, you, uh, you'll be able to wear these more. In the spring, you'll probably be able to pull these off. In the fall, definitely, and in the winter. In the summer, maybe, it just kind of depends. I know in Illinois, there were some days in the summer where I could wear 750s because like, the temperature was like, it was like, like 60s or 50s. So I could wear like a pair of pants and a t-shirt. But when I, when in Phoenix, it's gonna be really hard for me to wear these because it's pretty warm, like at least three fourths of the year. So I'll have to wait until like December, January, probably February to be able to break these out, which kind of sucks. But I'm not, I mean, I'm not really gonna complain about it. Because we wear our sneakers. Because we wear our sneakers. All right guys, that is it for the Yeezy 750 and 350 comparison. If you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Like and subscribe for Blake. Hopefully he's gonna be in more videos sometime in the future after I move. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Please help me get my subscribers up. I will see you guys soon. Peace. Peace.